This week on Dear Veronica, you guys are lazy and want to be driven around and have your social media posts done for you. Use these days. Welcome back to Dear Veronica, everyone. I'm your host, Veronica Belmont. We're all chugging right along into 2016, and there was tons of great news coming out of CES and the Detroit Auto Show in recent weeks, specifically lots of awesome autonomous vehicle news, which actually kicks us right into our first question from at Frank Fernandez 5. Re auto driving cars, would you use one? Would you check what OS it's using first? Great question, Frank. You know what? I'm not ready. I'm just not ready. I'm not ready emotionally or mentally. I think the technology is absolutely wonderful, and I think it will save hundreds of thousands of lives in the future, make traveling and commuting an absolute pleasure, and hopefully make it so there are fewer cars in general on the roads. But we're not quite there yet. For me, it's going to take until we have much wider general adoption. If the majority of cars are automated, then we begin to cut out the issue of human error, and autonomous cars will be able to react and respond to their brethren much more easily than human-driven vehicles. But there are still so many issues that need to be worked through. Ford, for example, is doing research on how autonomous cars will operate under snow conditions when the typical cues the car would need to function, like road lines, are covered by snow and ice. So many unknowns. As for the OS, that's not something I'm thinking about a ton right now. We can make the obvious assumptions that the big players like Google, Apple, and Uber will have their own proprietary systems in place. Google, at least, will probably license their systems out to companies like Ford and others to use in their vehicles. But at the end of the day, I'll be looking at the final package much more so than any specific brand or OS loyalty. As long as it has backup sensors, I'm happy. I can't live without my backup sensors anymore for parallel parking. Whew. Up next, another automation question of sorts from at Silverblack. What is the best all-purpose app to post to all my social media outlets? There are tons of them out there, from Hootsuite to Sprout Social. I've tried a lot of them, but one I finally landed on that I'm totally in love with is Buffer. I mean, they all kind of do the same thing, but Buffer has this fantastic tool called Pablo that lets you create beautiful images with text. Now, it sounds like a small thing, but they really go a long way in getting people's attention in a timeline. You can change the background image, upload your own, and even do a nice artistic blur. Ooh. Plus, I just really like the layout and design of the overall product, and the analytics are great too. I use the free plan now, but there is a paid tier called Awesome that lets you connect more social accounts and schedule more posts. 100 versus 10 on the free plan. I checked with Mallory Johns, who handles the Engadget social channels, and she said she loves Buffer too for her personal stuff. For work, they use Social Flow, which probably has more features than the average user needs. Finally today, I thought it would be fun to end on a poll. We have a question from Mosin. I have an Xbox One and I don't know what game to get. Halo 5 Guardians, Black Ops 3, or Rainbow Six Siege, since they're all about shooting and combat. This is tough for me because I don't play any of these. How come no one is asking me any questions about Fallout 4? I'm 95 hours in. Surely you want to know about my settlement building strategies, right? Whatever, okay, people. Give us your response in the blog post or send me a tweet telling us which one you would pick and why if you could choose only one. Who knows, maybe he bought all three by now. And keep those questions coming in too. Hashtag them Dear Veronica on Twitter and I'll see you next week. I'll be looking at the final package then, mm. I messed up. I use the free pen. Three, two. Surely you want to know about my settlement build. Oh, I, I f that up. Surely you want to know about my settlement building strategies, right? Yeah, you didn't like that. We have a crush. Crushin. I have an Xbox One, and I don't know. No. <laughs> this episode of Dear Veronica was brought to you by Go90.